techniques can be used to create interesting and creative portrait photography. There is a time and a place to have a lot of gear, but some of the best portraits can be done with very simple equipment. Today I will be showing you how you can create great portraits with a single light and a backdrop. I have my camera, a single flora light with a softbox on it, and this background behind me. A single light will not fully illuminate a room, but it will encourage you to use your creativity, especially when dealing with shadow. By using a continuous light like this flora, I do not need to use additional gear to trigger a strobe. Uh, the lighting is always on, and I can easily visualize my final shot with my own eyes. Since I'm using continuous lighting also, I can use aperture priority and let the camera set the shutter speed. I'll be adjusting my aperture during the shoot to obtain the look I want. I also used a white balance preset. Okay, now to start out, I've got my model today, Nicole Renee, and we are going to show you what we can do with just one light with a soft box on it. To start out, we're gonna have the light pointed directly at Nicole Renee, and it's gonna give us kind of a, a little bit of a flat light. And here's an example of that. But I think we can do better. That one is a little bit flat and we're gonna try something else out. All right, let's go ahead and move the light a little bit over to the side, get a little bit more shadow. Now, as I move the light over to one side, you can see that some shadows start to form and it starts to create a little bit more visual interest on her face. And finally, as I move the light way over to the side, you can create something very dramatic where just a very, a very small part of her is illuminated. You have like a million facial expressions. <laughs> All right. All right, we're good. Let's do to where I move it even more over to the side. So I think for this, I guess we'll take a couple of you where you're facing me like that, but then we're gonna turn, turn you towards the light. Okay. And if we wanna push it even further, we can move the light behind her and we can get a cool silhouette. Okay, now that we have the fan on, I guess the point is that we're gonna see not a lot of, well, really none of your facial expression or anything, but we are gonna see kind of how your hair is moving around. I'm thinking put your hands in your hair, turn your face to the side, you know, turn it towards me, just do a couple of different things, and we're pretty much just gonna see from um, just below your shoulders up. Okay. Okay, let's go through a couple of these so that you can see um, what we got today. Wow. So here's some of the silhouetted photos, which you can see, like, you know, you made some really good, like, dramatic shapes. I like the so, silhouette ones. Yeah, those are Very interesting. Artistic. And then if we go to some where we just yeah. had the real dramatic light right yeah. to your right, um, those are interesting, too. Because those like really, those. yeah, those really, um, those the highlight your lights. bone structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then here were some of them where you, where we had the light kind of, you know, diagonally okay. from you. So these, you have a good amount of mm -hmm. shadow really, but, but not quite as dramatic as the other ones. Yeah. And then these were the ones where the light was right on you. So some of them. You know? I definitely like the dramatic look. Yeah. Yeah. These are nice. You look pretty, you know, and it's, it really showcases that you have really nice skin because the light's like right on right you. Right on it. <laughs> um, but so the, you know, those are an asset to anybody's portfolio, but yes. yeah, I, I totally agree. I think that those ones with, with the more dramatic, yeah. I think are really gonna, those are going to stand out in your yes. portfolio for sure. Set apart. Yeah. Good deal. I agree. With photography, especially studio photography, it is very easy to collect a lot of gear. And everything does have its purpose. But if you're just starting out, or even if you're more experienced but just want to work with some simplicity, a single light can challenge you to be creative and work with the model, while keeping many of the other variables out of the way. Thanks for watching Lingo TV. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Linko would like to offer you the use of their studios with all of your lighting equipment needs for all aspiring photographers and models free of charge. They are located in Santa Fe Springs, California. And for more details, feel free to email them below at the address. See you soon.